Oh, he sees that. He sees that. Oh, oh, right from the tongs. Look at this guy. He's so beautiful. I'm already in love with this guy. What's up, everybody? It's me again. All right, so quick little update on the 46 gallon tank. I got my crab in here and there's a lone shiner in here that he still hasn't eaten yet. My first crab would have already demolished that thing already on the first day. He's been in here for about three days. Just check him out. And uh, I don't think I've shown you guys a feeding of my new crab. So in this video, I will be feeding my crab. I'm not gonna be feeding him anything crazy, just some frozen foods and the 40 gallon tank, the green spotted puffers, are not going to be in here anymore. I've actually already taken them out. So what's going to be in this 40 gallon breeder tank? I'm gonna have something really cool in here. I actually just came back from the fish store and I picked up something really cool. Let's check it out. All right, so I know this is not the best visual, but if you guys can guess what that is, then leave a comment down below. I'm not gonna say what it is right now. Most of you guys that are watching this right now already know what this is, but for the new viewers and for the people that are not too familiar with saltwater fish and invertebrates, then I'm gonna keep you guys guessing, but this guy, I had to look so hard and it took me forever just to find one of these just to buy. I did try to order one online, but they were hard to find online as well. I'm very lucky to come across this one. He's not the biggest one. I wish he was a little bit bigger, but hey, this guy will do. And he's gonna have this spacious 40 gallon breeder tank all to himself. I'm not gonna be adding any fish in here or anything like that because he is not compatible with tank mates. He is a lone wolf and that's just the way it's going to be for this guy. But before I actually put him in here, I do have to acclimate him. And before I got him, I actually did do a water change for this tank. I also made sure that the salinity level was at the proper level for this guy here because this guy here actually requires a specific salinity level. If you don't know what salinity is, it's pretty much what measures how much salt is in the aquarium. And I had to make sure it was just right for this guy right here. And I, I won't lie, it was like a pain in the butt. I had to spend about an hour taking out water, adding water, taking out water again, adding some more water, and just to make sure that everything was at the right level. Now that everything is proper, I'm ready to add this guy in here. But first, I'm gonna have to go ahead and acclimate him. All right, so to acclimate this guy, what I'm gonna do is I got a five gallon bucket here. I'm gonna go ahead, dump the water in this guy here into the bucket. And then I have a measuring cup and I'm going to get a little bit of water about every 10 minutes and put it into here. I'm not going to put that much at a time, maybe like maybe about two ounces every 10 minutes for about two to three hours just to make sure he's acclimated properly. And then I'll go ahead and put him in here. I can't wait to see this guy in his new home. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so hopefully he'll do just fine in here. And I'm gonna go ahead, open this up. By the way, this tank is not as blue as it is in person. This camera is just not picking up the right colors on this tank. It has something to do with the lighting. I'm not sure why. It actually looks a whole lot better in person. But I just got the water here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this about every 10 to 15 minutes for the next two hours. And then I'll come back and put this guy in here. All right guys, so it's been an hour into the acclimation process. He's still acclimating. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and feed my crab some krill. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I got a bunch of krill here. My fish, they eat a lot. And uh, this stuff can get pretty expensive. I run out of this stuff pretty fast. Let's go ahead and see if I can just feed them one. All right, so there's the crab. Go ahead, just throw that back there. 
Oh, I don't think he'll be able to get that one. He senses it, though. Okay. So I gotta throw it. Oh. No, he's moving for it. Oh, come on, bud. Yeah. He's hiding behind the sponge filter so you guys can't see, but my crab is good to go. Hopefully I can do another uh, live feeding video with this guy. Instead of feeding him live crawfish, I might try to feed him something else. If you guys haven't seen that video where I did feed him some live crawfish, go and check that out. Link is in the description. The video can also be found here at the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and feed this guy. Pretty sure he will eat. Just look at that eye. It looks pretty bad and I think it's going to get worse. So I might do surgery to actually just get rid of that eye. Plus it's useless anyways. It's just getting in his way. So I might get rid of it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Alright, so I got some krill here. Go ahead and just drop it down. Oh, you missed. You missed, buddy. Oh, you found it. No? Your eyesight's so bad. He senses it. Come on, bud. Alright, I'm gonna throw him another one. It's gonna be right on top of him. Oh, he sees that. He sees that. Oh, oh, right from the tongs. Alright, so I actually gotta tongue feed this guy. So his feedings are a lot more successful. I'm not too worried about leaving those two in there. The pleco will eat it or the snails will eat it. These snails, they eat everything. They keep this tank spotless. There's never any algae growing in this tank except for the few spots in the back, but that's pretty much it. These these snails, they eat algae like crazy. Kind of happy that they're in here. You know, most people, they don't like snails in their tanks, but I don't actually mind these guys. And then, of course, we got the prawn shrimp down here. I just fed him. And uh, he's getting bigger by the day. I might have to name him uh, Rich Piana. That is one big old shrimp. That boy is thick. Let's see if I can feed this guy another one. Alright, so I got this one right here. Let's see if I can get him to see it. I think he's still chewing on the last one. Let's see if I can just drop it right in front of him. Oh, there we go. This is like the first fish in a long time where the first and second day of me having it, it's eating right away. You know, most fish that I get, oh, he just spat that one out. Not sure why. Oh well. But yeah, most fish that I get, it usually takes them about a week or two for them to start eating. This guy, he started eating right away, which is good, but he still has a long way to go to fully recover. Like I said, I'm really thinking about getting rid of that eye because uh, it's pretty much useless and I don't think it can be saved. Also going to get rid of all the white spots on him. Alright guys, so I think he's been acclimating for a good while. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put him into his new home. Let's do it. Alright, hopefully this will be an easy process. Oh, I don't know if you... Oh! I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but he was just hitting the bucket. Alright. Come on, buddy. Into your new home. Gosh, this camera does not do this guy justice. Alright, there we go. Oh, he's freaking out a little bit. I'm gonna switch over to my, uh, my phone. I think the phone will actually be able to capture this guy a whole lot better. Yeah, so this is a whole lot better. The quality is so much better. Look at this guy. Oh, he's freaking out. So, when I actually went to the store, I had to drive an hour there, so... I wasn't just gonna drive there and just buy this guy and then just bring him back for him to die. So, like I said previously in the video, I did a water change. I made sure the salinity was at the right level. 
and when I went to the store I actually had them test my water uh, before I got them to back this guy up for me and they told me that he should be okay so I'm hoping that they're right um, a lot of people don't keep mana shrimp because they're so sensitive I don't know if I told you told you guys this before but about two weeks ago I actually went to a local fish store and I got a peacock mantis shrimp this one is not a peacock and I'll explain the difference here in a second but it ended up dying and it was a whole lot better it was a whole lot bigger than this one right here this one is a lot smaller that's because this is a different kind and I was really bummed out because he was a hundred dollars so I ended up losing a hundred dollars for nothing so I'm hoping this one works out with me. I really want to be able to keep this uh, shrimp because it's a really cool shrimp. You know, seeing these guys feeding and just exploring their home, uh, they're really cool. They're really fun pets to have. Look at this guy. He's so beautiful. I'm already in love with this guy. See you guys in the next video. Take care and bye bye.